I am excited to be able to talk about Oliverian um, because, well, I think anyone that you're going to get on video is going to say it's near and dear to their hearts and it's a place like no other. And what I mean by that, it's like it's tucked away in the middle of Pike, New Hampshire. I remember when I was looking at coming back to the States, I was living in Barcelona, I was working at an international school there and I knew I wanted to be relatively close to Boston and I found Oliverian online and I it was a working farm and I loved uh, the mission uh, at the time it was kids that walked to the beat of their own drums and um, that just really spoke to me and and that mission and vision still lives to what it is now um, in a in a different way but we still see or we encourage kids to be who they authentically are and feel comfortable in their own skin. And that's just powerful. And so I actually worked at Oliverian for five years. I started the second year it was open and I was an advisor, a dorm parent, Spanish teacher, um, admin, uh, administrator on duty, uh, counselor, um, and uh, you just grow to love it. I was, I, after my, uh, first few months I was like oh my goodness you're on all the time and I was like I don't know if I can continue maintaining this pace and and then one year turned to five um, you grow to really love um, the people there uh, you're alongside folks that just care deeply about the students and families um, and the work that we're all trying to do um, that's when I met Abby and she was part of my wedding um, Greg Vogel, uh, just amazing folks that I maintain, I've maintained a friendship um, over the last, I mean, I don't know how long ago it's been now, 15 years. Um, and I actually just said this in the board meeting last week, but um, I feel that the staff at Oliverian sees kiddos' potential before maybe they even see themselves or the, see their potential. And um, I think that's a really powerful thing because then eventually students start to see themselves the way we all have seen them from the beginning and as they start gaining that confidence and growing into um, young men, women, people um, that they feel uh, most comfortable being the most authentic selves, I think it's incredibly powerful um, and it's personalized and there's just so, so much love like that's how I would actually describe Oliverian it's just like love and you feel it from the moment you walk on campus, um, how students interact with each other, how staff are interacting, how families engage. Um, so yeah, and so I'm still involved. I'm on the board. I've been on the board for about five years now, and it's because I selfishly want to always stay connected to Oliverian. I feel like it's such a, a special place that um, I get as much out of as maybe, you know, my experience now can bring to the table, I feel like I, I maybe get a little bit more out of it. But um, And it, it gets me connected or keeps me connected to the families that I had the opportunity to work with when I was there. And then uh, certainly Abby, now head of school, she's brilliant. She's phenomenal. She is like the best leader I have had the privilege of, of seeing in action. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's difficult to support something when it's when you see the numbers of kiddos and you're like that's such a that's a, such a small amount of kiddos and why not support uh, a place maybe that supports m more kiddos but I think what's so powerful about Oliverian is it's it's kids that um, need something different and so this so Oliverian provides something that they weren't getting in the traditional schools or a different program that they needed a place that really um, saw them for who they are, saw their potential, loved them unconditionally, um, validates them in, in so many ways. Um, I think a lot of kids are trying to figure who they are. I think that's standard across all teenagers, but our kids, um, I think they're barriers, uh, it, whether it's mind blocks or just access to, to, to staff um, that's going to get them where they need access to counselors, access to advisors, dorm parents. And so um, 
I think someone supporting Oliverian uh, is actually going to make such a, a difference in our kids' lives in a way that's so meaningful. I mean, really who you need to be hearing from is the, are the families that have been impacted by that. And, and I remember when I went there, or I worked there, I, you didn't see the fruits of your labor until years later. And you're like, I think I'm making a difference. I think I'm connecting with these kids. And then afterwards, you see the amazing people that they've become. And, um, and you're just like, yes, oh my gosh, like you're, you're phenomenal. And, and they'll attribute it back to their experience at Oliverian. Um, and then you feel like, okay, you know, all of those hours at night and, you know, the hours in the morning talking to kids, loving them, um, it was, you know, certainly all worth it. Um, but I think our families, uh, you know, are talking to the kids, I think is really what's going to get people to realize like, oh my gosh, like how do I get involved? And also bringing people onto campus and actually seeing it in action. I think that's where it can be incredibly powerful as well. Just because like what I was saying, it was just like the feel of the place. Um, you're just like, this is, this is special. This is different. So yeah. <laughs>